Welcome back to MomoCon, folks. My name is Rob Weathers, joined by Carmen Michael, and we have got a couple of new competitors joining the field today as Big Trouble Ben Bishop, one of the largest athletes in the Southeast professional wrestling scene, makes his way to the ring. We are jam-packed here at MomoCon as Ben Bishop saying hello to the fans. Rob, there's barely room to walk around in here. Look at this. And it just got even tighter with a man the size of Bishop stepping foot on the stage. And here comes his opponent for the evening. Well, if there's anyone who would fit right in here. Sal Renaro, a veteran of professional wrestling. You've seen him on your television set with the National Wrestling Alliance. He's been in the scene for over 20 years. But I've got to say, Carmen, just from looking at his opposition in the ring, I think Sal might have bit off a little more than he can chew this evening. Well, if he's in too much trouble, I mean, we just saw Spider-Man there. Maybe he can tag in for help. we got Nacho Libre here, too. Look at this. That's a matchup I did not know that I needed, but if we can get Sal Renaro versus Nacho Libre quickly, at least on the next night, that would be fun. As Sal Renaro making his entrance here. He's staring up at Big Ben. Staring up, exactly. <laughs> Man standing in at six foot 12 inches. Then they call that seven foot in some other parts of the globe, but I didn't exactly pass math, pass math class. Even easy for me to say. I don't know about math, but I, I, I do know that big trouble is certainly an adequate descriptor for this man right here. Is Sal looking to, to tag out with Deanna? No, I, I, I think he wants... I, I think he was asking Big Ben to tag out. I don't know if Sal knows what we're doing here. No clapping! I don't know how that's going to work out. It's already been a great time here at MomoCon. Did you just say he hates sounds? Should we sit this one out? I yeah, so. I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't want to upset Sal Renaro any more than he already is. We do want to get this match underway. The fans here packed in to this convention center here in downtown Atlanta definitely are ready for some action. There's fans as far as the eyes can see. We got fans stopped in the aisleways right now watching on. A star-studded affair. I mean, we see Scooby-Doo there in the front row. Absolutely. Taking some time away from solving mysteries to be here with us at MomoCon. Well, and for the collar and elbow was Ben Bishop, but Sal Renaro rolling out of the way. Very unorthodox offense from Sal Renaro, but I think we will notice throughout this match, it definitely does pay off. <laughs> Sal was certainly pleased with himself, but big trouble Ben Bishop saying, okay, two can play that game. It certainly does not seem like Sal is in any hurry whatsoever. No, and Sal has been in this professional wrestling business, as I said, over 20 years. This guy knows what he's doing. He is getting in the head of Ben Bishop. He's trying to at least, but it looks like Ben Bishop is not bothered at all. Ooh. But that might bother him a little bit. Biting the hands is Sal Renaro. Innovative there from Sal Renaro. Slides under the kick. Oh, Big Ben going for another shot, but gets caught by Sal. Oh. 
Massive right hands from Sal that honestly I think would have knocked out a lesser man, but big bitch, big trouble, big bitch of not even moving. <laughs> Don't let the unorthodox style of Sal Renaro fool you. As you mentioned, Rob, a veteran in this business. There's a reason he's a contracted athlete. And big trouble making a case for himself here tonight against the Wiley vet, your pal Sal. Big clubbing blow to the chest on the outside. The front row getting a good view. Well, that certainly wasn't very friendly. What, what is this? Oh, oh my sword. Oh my God, it's, it's not a sword. It's a lightsaber. Uh, well, in good, <laughs> Big Trouble was just quoting He-Man there, so I think we got our continuities mixed up a little bit. <laughs> ben Bishop saving himself <laughs> an assault with a deadly weapon charge. Probably wise. Another big shot to the chest. You can see that hand and forearm of Ben Bishop covering almost the entire torso of your pal Sal. Oh, double overhand shot. <laughs> right down to the clavicle and Sal Renaro. <laughs> Certainly feeling it right now. Big trouble sending Sal right back into the ring. Took a little bit too long to warm up there. Sal Renaro catching that top rope while the big man was trying to climb over it. And that is one of the issues that you'll find being six foot 12, having to step over that top rope. You leave yourself vulnerable every time you go in and out of the ring. And Sal Renaro, the man out here, I'm just now noticing has one boot on. <laughs> <laughs> out here making the best of all of his opportunities and biting the head of Big Ben Bishop. Well, you mentioned it there exactly, Rob. It's not often that when you have someone with that much of a size advantage that, you know, they're on the wrong foot. And whenever you see an opportunity, you have to take it. And Sal Renaro has always been on top of his game when it comes to moments exactly like that. Very opportunistic his entire career. But opportunity is only going to get you so far whenever a man the size of Big Trouble is standing across the ring from you. Goes in for the splash, but Sal out of the way just in time. Just looking around the room, you can see the looks on everyone's faces just wincing in pain from watching that. It's Sal Renaro again. Very pleased with himself. Now digging in the nostrils of Ben Bishop. It is unorthodox. I don't know how many times we've mentioned that, but extremely effective. It has to be if you're going to keep a man that size down, and Sal's doing a great job of that. And that's the thing. You have to keep your opponent down on the ground, especially with that size differential. Ooh, snapping the fingers of Ben Bishop. Now he's got that boot, that lone boot, stomping out that hand. Could have a couple of broken fingers after that. That's not nice, Sal. Bending back the fingers. Again, you, you take away the hands. You eliminate so much offense. You're eliminating strikes. You're eliminating grapples. Sal Renaro, I mean, we mentioned the word unorthodox time and time again, but it's paying off to a team. On that middle rope, goes in for the dive, but catches a shot right to the bread basket from Ben Bishop on the way down. Ducks the line. Right back to the offensive, though. Those strikes paying dividends so far in this match. Boot to the face of Ben Bishop. Sal looking for some offense, but sit up and over. And Ben Bishop is feeling it right now, and so is the crowd here in Atlanta, Georgia. Big Trouble's on fire. Couple of big shots to Sal, scoops him up. Big slam, center of the ring. With ease, and now Big Trouble. It's calling for it. Goes for the leg drop, but Sal out of the way. Very wise, great ring awareness from the veteran. He wasted too much time, and now Sal 
Climbing the turnbuckles. Might be wasting too much time himself. Yeah, he was. Gets caught in the goozle. Sal trying to fight out. Oh, and spinning right in the face of big trouble. He's got him. He's got him up. Big choke slam from Ben Bishop. That First cover him of up. the match. Will it be the last? Yes, yes it, it is. Yes, it will. Now, I'm not sure how wise of a strategy it was to spit in the face of the giant, but all it did was fire up Big Trouble here, Rob. Fired him up all the way to the winner's circle with this one. What a performance! Right here at Momocom by Big Trouble Ben Bishop.